Liam Winkler writes and directs Frankenstein versus the Creature from Blood Cove. This is a 2005 B-movie, which is kind of a homage slash spoof to the B-movie drive-in black and white kind of monster movies that you would have got in the 1950s, whilst kind of telling a an adapted version of the Frankenstein novel by Mary Shelley, of course. So, the movie is shot in black and white, and it really focuses on this crew of journalists that are going to take some photographs by the beach, essentially to, you know, take photographs of a model and whatnot for their skin mag. Uh, but they are attacked by a gill man when they are there and kind of are chased to this kind of nearby uh, building, which happens to be a laboratory where they, uh, we, we find out that they have basically created the gill man and they've also dug up uh, the body of the Frankenstein's monster to try and perfect their kind of genetic exper experiments and make him a kind of weapon to sell to the military. And of course these two titans will crash and you've also got a werewolf thrown in there as well, plus a couple of ghosts. So, what will happen? Well, you're going to have to watch the movie to find out. Certainly a kind of a lot of ideas in this film. Uh, you've got quite a few small cameos of some a kind of B-movie sort of uh, players from certain kind of like grindhouse style cinema pop up for kind of small roles here and there. Uh, it's obviously a film which is clearly trying to emulate those um, the kind of the style of movies that you would have got in the kind of the 50s, those kind of like silly kind of creature monster movies, but with a bit of added kind of like grindhouse TNA and that sort of thing to go in there as well. Uh, so if you're a fan of the cinema of old, the 1950s cinema, or indeed a new adaptation of the Frankenstein mythos, then you may be interested to check this one out. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of quite interesting in a, in a kind of artistic sense because it does play a lot like the kind of the because it's black and white but also the characters the way they're kind of acting is a mishmash between modern sensibilities for example the kind of the flamboyant uh, over the top gay character but also having those kind of like um story sort of beats that you would have seen in the kind of the B-movies as well. So it's kind of a, a, a strange hodgepodge. It actually takes place in contemporary Los Angeles, so it's not meant to be set in a, a period setting. So it's certainly a, a kind of fairly unique kind of vision of this kind of low-budget kind of monster affair. I have to say uh, that the actual monster effects, they're obviously meant to be just kind of like, a, a, a you know, referencing the man in the suit sort of star monsters that we had in the 50s. And they do look like that. You can obviously see, obviously, the, the gaps and stuff where the kind of like the, the masks are and all of that. But I still actually kind of like the costumes, I have to say. The Gill Man as well, he has an articulated mouth with kind of like, um, like legitimate kind of uh, like teeth that you would see in like anglerfish and stuff like that. I actually thought he looked pretty good. The actual costume effects there, the kind of the makeup of Frankenstein, like, I, I quite liked, and the werewolf as well. Uh, all of these, you know, they're kind of fun. They're not, they're not kind of like super realistic. Don't get me wrong, but if you're a fan of those kind of B movies, you will still kind of enjoy the, the the kind of the practical effects. There are some instances where I think it wasn't needed. We actually see a uh, a ghost of um, you know, of actually Victor. Uh, Frankenstein, where he's wearing prosthetic makeup, just get an actor. I don't see why you needed to try and make him look old. It was kind of a weird choice, but whatever. Um, there you go. But yeah, for the most part, I kind of enjoyed the uh, uh, the kind of the, the, the kind of the practical makeups, the, the the costuming and stuff like that, and the characters are certainly kind of recognisable. And like I've said, I think this is kind of this this is homaging both the kind of essentially mainly the kind of the B-movies of the 50s, but also those kind of like the more um, sort of sleazy films that you would have got maybe in the kind of the late 70s and early 80s as well. So it has a kind of a mishmash of those kind of genres. And, and there's a hell of a lot of things that, that are, you know, in this movie we've got, as I say, three different types of monsters. You've got a couple of ghosts, or a ghost, the military, mad scientists, and plus obviously all the people that are there 
um, as kind of your point of view characters. So yeah, it's a fun little amusing kind of uh, movie project. What doesn't work? I don't think this is going to be for any type of mainstream audience. Obviously this movie is made for fans of kind of like the trashy kind of B-movies and it's obviously paying homage to that, although it's, as I say, it's a, it is a little bit of a strange mix because it's not going for the purely 50s sensibilities because we do have a little bit more of the kind of the, uh, uh, the more sexual elements that were kind of a bit more in the kind of later decades and stuff like that. So it is a little bit of a strange uh, tone, obviously, considering it's obviously taking place in modern Los Angeles as well. So we have modern Los Angeles, but with sensibilities of the 80s and the 50s. So it does become a little bit of a hodgepodge. I think the main thing for me with this film is um, the joke wore a little thin. Uh, I think this would have been great as a kind of uh, a, a half an hour, maybe short film, but for kind of an hour and a half, I felt it was the, the joke was stretched a little bit kind of thin. Um, it, 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 you know, you can be amused at things and kind of enjoy the kind of the homages for a certain kind of period of time, but then you're kind of thinking, you know, I've got to watch a whole movie of this, and it's not a, a classic film, and then, you know, it's kind of like it's homaging these things, but maybe doesn't quite go to that full immersive experience by never really committing to a particular time period, I would say. And when it's all sort of said and done, the plot isn't, is just kind of like, isn't anything particularly kind of new. I mean, aesthetically, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of homaging those, uh, the classic era cinema and a few little nods here and there with some uh, kind of, you know, in-joke appearances or things like that. But the story doesn't do anything particularly clever. It's just a kind of relatively run-of-the-mill sort of story, monster on the kind of the loose thing. The actual uh, combat scenes between the kind of the Gilman creature and the, and the Frankenstein's monster uh, weren't particularly thrilling. And I have to say, I think the cinematography was quite poor here. Um, the, the, I feel as well this could have been shot to be a lot more effective. Uh, use of kind of lighting or lack of lighting in some aspects, I think would have would have helped uh, because it's kind of it's it's kind of shot in a way which is very just sort of rudimentary to be quite honest and as I say I, I really think there could have been more to, more to done to kind of make this a little bit say creepy I mean I'll take for example the werewolf scene where we just get like a guy in a wolf costume running around in broad daylight you know it could have been played to be a kind of I know it's not really going to be genuinely spooky or genuinely creepy but you would have had that kind of that classic era um, you know, something, you know, in the dark kind of rustling around, even though it's just a guy in a suit. It doesn't do that. It, it favours kind of like more uh, brightly lit kind of like natural kind of light and stuff like that, which I think kind of takes away from some of the the atmosphere that this movie could have had. It ultimately becomes a fun movie, but a kind of an overextended uh, little, little kind of homage to these films. This would have worked better as a part of an anthology, I feel. Uh, you know, had it had it been sort of truncated, and you know we can't we have to address the elephant in the room that it isn't Frankenstein, it's Frankenstein's monster versus the creature, as uh, so Frankenstein being the creator. It should have been Adam versus the creature if we want to be picky here. Overall, this is definitely not for everyone. It's very kind of niche. I feel though it's a nice little curio for those of you who like kind of the, the kind of the uh, the black and white style retro. Uh, vintage kind of movies of of yesteryear so it's a five out of ten for me have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now